Prince Andrew has been dealt a fresh blow, after Fergie's hopes of launching her TV career were dashed. ITV bosses decided the Duchess of York would not be given a full-time presenting role on this morning after her debut presenting role ended in disaster. It dampens her hopes of bankrolling Andrew's attempts to stay at Royal Lodge Mansion, where they live together, as he battles to find £2 million needed for urgent repairs. The king is keen for him to move out, fearing he is unable to meet the cost after stripping him of his £250,000 a year allowance. It followed Andrew's decision to pay his sex abuse accuser Virginia Giffray £12 million to halt a civil trial taking place in the US. And it comes just days after newly released documents filed in the US claimed Andrew, 63, groped American Johanna S. Joburg's breast enjoyed daily massages at Jeffrey Epstein's home in Palm Beach, Florida, and took part in an underage orgy. A victim of Andrew's pedophile pal Epstein also claimed the royal was videoed having sex with her friend. Fergie's debut presenting role ended in disaster with her co-hosting skills receiving mixed reviews from viewers after she stepped in to fill Holly Willoughby's old seat. She featured on the show on November 20, joining regular hosts Alison Hammond and Dermot O'Leary, offering assistance with segments on learning how to use a defibrillator, skincare solutions to reverse sun damage and spinning the prize wheel in the viewer competition, Spin to Win. But Fergie left viewers flabbergasted when she stepped in to offer relationship advice to callers, advising on wearing saucy underwear to spice things up in the bedroom. An ITV source said Fergie had zero chance of landing a permanent gig on the show, but said she was a joy to have around the place, the insider said. At best, Fergie's appearance divided opinion, at worst it was a complete and utter disaster. She's very sweet, even handing out gifts to all the staff she worked with on the day, but unfortunately she's not a natural. Her dream of landing a presenting role will have to find a home elsewhere as it won't be with us. Fergie is desperate to get herself back into the spotlight, even reportedly lobbying well-connected veteran TV producer Amy Rosenblum to find her a show on US telly. The Duchess had hoped to expand her personal brand in an effort to help her disgraced ex meet eye-watering repair bills on his 30-room mansion after he was forced from his royal role. Fergie has enjoyed a renaissance of her reputation in recent years after the success of landing a 22-book deal with an Australian publisher, as well as writing two best-selling Mills Boone romantic novels. A source close to the Duchess said, The Duchess's writing career and charity work wouldn't allow her to be a full-time TV host and this was never envisaged by either side. But she's talking to ITV about a return to both This Morning and Loose Women soon, and has been told she's welcome any time. Andrew has vowed to resist any attempt by the king to remove him from Royal Lodge, despite facing a catalogue of new lurid claims he had daily massages at Epstein's Florida home. The disgraced Duke told friends he has a cast iron lease lasting for another 54 years and will not be forced from his 30-room Windsor mansion, as revealed in the Sunday Mirror. The beleaguered Duke, who still shares the Windsor home with Fergie despite divorcing nearly 30 years ago, has also had his finances thrown into turmoil after being told the king will press ahead with withdrawing millions from his personal security operation. The result means Andrew will be forced to find the fortunes required to maintain both his security and the upkeep of his home. Friends of both Andrew and Fergie have said the royal was not prepared to look at alternative accommodation, despite the king offering his brother the chance to move into Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's more modest four-bedroom Frogmore cottage on the Windsor estate. A source close to the Duke said, Andrew is going nowhere.